So following on from the previous two videos, we got to this stage here where the volume is given by is given by uh, by this. So we now uh, we can now integrate this with respect to x. So we need to. So really, a is a constant, b is a constant. So now, uh, so so this whole thing here, in a way, is just a constant. We are integrating with respect to x. So now, now integrate it. So that will then give you x to the power of three, and then it will be the uh, it will be a third, and then this third here will cancel out with this three. Um, it will then give you this whole thing here will then become will then become this. Or integrate it. It will then give you this from zero from zero to b from zero to b. So now. Um, now it would be you could have put b into here, so that would be b to the power of three, uh, and then uh, and then when you put zero into here, the whole thing would be zero. So so we only need to take care of b to the power of three. So now this b to the power of three would cancel out with this b squared. That would just give you b to the power of one, and then so so the formula for the volume uh, is given by is given by this. So this is our formula here. This is our final answer. So when 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 is a a, and remember, it has to be an equilateral triangle, um, and then uh, and then b is the height. Well, the formula for the for the volume is given by this. Now, back in high school, you're told that it's um, it is base, the area of the base times the height divided by three. So so let's let's verify high school um, the high school formula. So uh, so we need in high school you're told that it's base times height divided by three. So, so we need to work out the area here. Well, the area is given by, by this, by uh, well, do whatever you want. You should be able to work out this area. Well, the area is given by by this. So, uh, so remember, high school is saying get the uh, the base, get the area, get the area times the height. So in our case, it's b. So times b and then divided by three. So in high school, you say uh, high school is saying get the area times the height and then divide it by three so that's your that's your well tidy this up that will then give you this and then tidy up again it will then give you it will then give you this and this is exactly what we got up here so hang on so uh, so it is consistent with uh, with your high school formula so this is our this is our formula using calculus high school is, is exactly the same as this okay